Hey, this is Satavari from LinkedInRef.com and it's time for another viewer request. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to play Jerry Reed's Papa's Knee. Now, this riff is about 10 seconds long, but it's a masterpiece. It's a perfect finger style riff, much like anything else Jerry Reed uh, composed. Jerry Reed was a finger style genius and it shows best in this little compact and very very complex guitar riff. Now uh, I'm gonna break it down, first I'm gonna demonstrate it, I'm gonna play it at original speed and then I'm gonna play it again, uh, slow down a little so you can hear how it goes and then I'm gonna break it down and I'm gonna show you how to play it lick by lick very very slowly and we're gonna break it down even into fingerings. I'm going to show you exactly how to use your fingers on this one because this is a very, very smart riff. It's a complex, compact, very melodic, beautiful, and a very um, smart riff. So, without further ado, let me demonstrate it uh, and then we're going to learn it. So it goes like this. This was the original speed. Now slower. Okay, again, last time. This is even more confusing to play slowly. Um, okay, so what's going on here? This one is in drop D. So tune your E string down to D. Now, you begin with this little lick. Okay? Um, this is D. Why? Because this is D. And you've got two here and four here. So you just take these two notes and you've got D on the bass already. So you've got D. Okay, I told you this is a smart riff. So, okay, you play the bass first and then a 16th afterwards, you play the slide into the F sharp. Okay, two to F sharp. 2 to 4 on the D string and 2 on the G string. Now you want to use your third and first fingers for this. The slide is with the third finger and first finger on the G string. Now you use your pinky on 4 and 5 on the, the bass string, the D, the, the D bass. So, we're gonna call it the E string anyway, okay? Uh, as to not to confuse. So, you, uh, you keep this ringing, okay? And you play the four on the bass, pick the open B string, okay? Okay, everything is still ringing. Keep it ringing. And then it's time to let this chord go and you go forward with the pinky, okay, on five on the E string. You bar the third fret and this, this is actually G, okay, so you go into a G. Okay, now this may look and feel uncomfortable at first, but you need the third finger in a second. So it's important that you uh, use your pinky for this. Okay? K 
Okay, this is the riff. You bar the third fret and you hammer on four on the G string. You, okay, it's it's just hammering on into G, G major. This is major, G major, G. It's G major. Se, it's G seven. Okay. Okay. It's just a uh, country blues lick. So. You play the G and the D strings together when you hammer on, and then you play the B string, okay? Still barring. Okay, now it hurts me, so I'm gonna let it go and begin again. Four, B string, push the pinky, five, bar, hammer on, B string. This is the first, uh, the first lick. Okay, got it? Again. Now, you can either play the 5 on the E string right away. Okay. Got it? 5. Or you can wait one uh, one moment and play four, five, six on the bass. Four using your third finger. Now this is where uh, um, you see why you need uh, your third finger because if you would if you would have used your third finger for the five. Then when you would when you would want the this um, bass line, you'd have to let your second finger go, and then the whole chord is lost. So you want to keep the chord ringing. So you use the pinky, and then you have the third finger free. Got it? This is insane. So or. See, the chord is still ringing. The whole chord is still ringing. Now, if you'd have used the third finger, then you'd have to let the chord go. Um, so, again. Four, five, six on the E string. Now you bar the second fret, and this is A6 into A. Okay? You play strings one, two, three, and the A bass. And you add your pinky on five on the E string, the high E string. Now this creates this line. Okay? It's. Okay? It's this. So every line connects with the next line. That's, that's why it's important to keep the notes and the chords ringing. Um, okay, so uh, we were here. Now, this is just half of the next lick. The whole lick is this. Okay, this is just B minor 7. Um, so it's just... A, B minor 7, just bar the 2nd fret, the whole 2nd fret this time, and add your 2nd finger on 3 on the B string. Okay, but it doesn't end here because then you need this. You need to add 4 on the A string. So it's... No, oh, by the way. On B minor 7, don't play the E string. Play strings 2, 3, and 5. Okay? So, uh, again. Okay? Add 4 on the A string right away. Okay? C sharp. And then, leave this note ringing, the C sharp bass, and 
extend your finger, pull off one to zero on the a, on the E string. Okay? And it sounds like this. Okay? C sharp note still ringing. From the top. note the D note on the B string three on the B string okay so um, then you can leave the C sharp note so it's okay because then you need to play the D bass um, so a B C sharp pull off from one to zero three Open D. Okay. Um, this is this was the second lick. First lick. Okay, and second lick. But uh, as you saw before, it doesn't end there. There's another bass line that comes around now. It's this. Okay. It finishes on this. Okay, so it's this is the next bass line. It's pretty simple. It's two. two uh, you keep the D note ringing. Okay, still ringing. So and then it ends on B minor. So it's two, two hammer on to four, two again on the D string. Pull off to zero. Four on the A string. B minor seven again. So um, from here. Got it? It's confusing. Okay, and since you use your second finger to play the D note, you don't have to take it off. It's ready for the B minor seven. See, this is smart. I told you, you need to use exact fingerings for this one. Got it? Okay, can we move on? Um, oh, no, we are not moving on. Um, when you play this, Okay, you can also harmonize. You can bar the second fret and harmonize with the G note. Okay, you don't have to, but it's nice. It's a nice country uh, feel. So um, again, entire second, entire third lick. Okay, now this doesn't stop here. The next lick begins with the B, uh, the B minor. We're at the next lick already. This was the lick we just learned. Okay, it ended on the C sharp. Now begins another one. Okay, um, it's B minor seven, and then you add five on the E string, the A note. It's a B minor seven still. This is the seventh. So then. You take the bar off, you keep the three and the five still ringing, okay? And you play open A string, four on the E string. Okay? Leave these on. And only now you can take them off. And you play. Okay, it's a it's a roll, it's a banjo roll, it's zero zero on E and B strings and then one on the D string. Okay. Now uh, you'll see the logic why this note comes around in a second, but it sounds like this. Got it? 
slower. Now, the next lick is this. So this is actually a chromatic movement into the next chord. Uh, the next chord is E. So you need to uh, extend D back into E. So you play E instead of playing it like this. You just take this finger up a string and it's E. And you play strings E, D, and G. Okay? This is what you play. So it's Got it? So it's You're beginning to hear the logic in this line? I'm hoping. Um, don't worry. I'm gonna go through everything again while we f when, after we finish this. So um, this little surprise, okay? It's just E into E7. You um, pull off two to zero on the uh, D string and hammer it on again, and then play zero. So it's pull off, hem um, pull off, hammer on, pick, okay? It's not, it's not pull off, hammer on, pull off. It's pull off, hammer on, pick. And then you pick the E string. Got it? This might be the simplest lick in this whole riff. And then you play on the E string. Two, three, four, five. Okay, right away. Then the G7 uh, line again. Okay? Just as before, bar the third fret, hammer on the fourth on the G string, keep the bass string in on five, it's G, it's a G bass. So, um, and then you slide the five back into four on the bass, okay? Then play two, open E string. We're one leg away from finishing this. Again. Okay, so two, three, four, five, slide two, five, four, two, E string, D bass. Slide into D. Instead of four and two, it's four and three, three on the B string. Okay? Just it's a D, it's a D chord. Just like C, up two frets, just instead of this D, you play the D deep D bass. Okay? Two to four, three on the B string. Okay? So Again, from the top or the second half, the second half. Leave these two ringing. Open A string four. E string, B string, one on E string. On the E bass. E. E string. Two, three, four, five. Five, four, two, E string, D bass, slide into D, and we're done. Let's go over this from the top. D, four, five, G, four, five, six, A, A, B minor, C sharp, pull off, three, keep the three ringing, or, okay, harmonize, two and four, um, 
B minor again, A string, 4, roll, E, G again, slide into D. Um, you want to hear it really, really slow? I'm not sure I can pull this off, but I'll try. powers I've had in me. Original speed. Okay, made a couple of mistakes there, but I'm pretty sure you got it by now. This is an amazing riff. Jerry Reed was a fingerstyle Devil. Um, I've got more Jerry Reed lessons uh, already uploaded. Uh, they're really old. I've made them about uh, two years ago. But if you want to uh, learn more Jerry Reed stuff, I've got a lesson for Jiffy Jam and I've got a lesson for Bluesland. I'm probably going to reshoot them one day uh, and make um, better versions of those lessons, but you can go and learn them right now. I hope this lesson was to your taste and that you've liked it and enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I've got a lot of lessons already on the channel and um, keep updated. Why not? I upload a new lesson every couple of days or so and um, you can subscribe and keep updated with all the lessons that I make and that you can send me requests and uh, I read every request. I add everything to the huge list of requests um, and I will try my best to make all the lessons that you want to learn. Now, uh, before you go, go to the website and download the tab. It's up on the website. You can download it for free. And uh, while you're there, if you want to give something back for this lesson, there's a donation button. You can donate and pay whatever you like. Uh, whatever you choose to donate is I'll be grateful for and um, I thank you in advance. Uh, just go download the tab, donate if you want and practice this. Get it on your fingers. This is one unbelievably complex and smart guitar riff uh, you can impress everybody with. I'm Asaf Levavi. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you the next lesson.